The increasing trend in ionization energy across a period from left to right is due to a increasing repulsions among electrons in the valence shell, b increasing effective nuclear charge, c increasing number of core electrons, or d increasing size of the valence shell. Across a period from left to right, the trend is more electrons in the valence shell. For example, in period 2, beryllium, which belongs to group 2a, has two valence electrons. On the other hand, carbon, which is in group 4a, has four valence electrons. More electrons means more repulsions since like charges repel. So we would expect more repulsions among the electrons in the valence shell of carbon. This would imply that it would be easier to remove one of these outer electrons. Therefore, although choice A is true, repulsions among electrons increase as you go from left to right. That would be consistent with a decreasing trend. But the trend is increasing, so there must be another factor involved. Another left to right trend is the increasing nuclear charge. As you go from left to right, you have more protons in the nucleus. For example, beryllium above has four protons, while carbon has six. There are more protons in carbon pulling in the electrons. Remember that unlike charges attract, the nucleus attracts electrons. Therefore, from left to right, an increase in the number of protons would explain the trend. Because the trend in choice A does have the opposite effect, we say that the increasing trend in the number of protons is the more dominant effect. Or we can say that there is an increasing trend in the effective nuclear charge. And this accounts for the trend of increasing ionization energy. Choice B is the correct answer. Choices C and D are wrong. Across a period, the valence shell is the same and the core is the same. In the example given above, beryllium and carbon both have the same core electrons, two electrons in the 1s orbital. Here's a diagram that might help you visualize what's going on. In this diagram, we represent the nucleus with the black circle in the middle. The core electrons are in the small green shell around the nucleus. The valence electrons are in the outer green shell. Since the nucleus is positive, it will attract the electrons. A valence electron will feel an inward pull from the protons. But the electrons repel each other, so a valence electron will also feel an outward push from the core electrons and an outward push from the other electrons in the valence shell. In other words, the inward pull on a valence electron by the nucleus is lessened due to the repulsions from the other electrons. We could say that there is a shielding effect. The electrons feel an effective nuclear charge, not the full nuclear charge.